Welcome back to Basement Graves of Beers. I'm Twisted Logic. We have a goblin squad on the map here. There's five of them here, and there's five of them up here in the um, northeast corner of the screen. I have two squads. Um, my suicide wave has some training and some weapons, and squad two we just assigned and uh, told them to station. I have them stationed right now inside the uh, ziggurat that we've been constructing, but it's not enclosed. The goblins are going to be able to get in here. I have um, a vulnerability in the fortress right now. The main entrance is closed. This is a um, stairwell leading down into a um, tree farm that I constructed. But we removed the tile to fill water back into it, and they didn't replace the tile there. So even though it looks like it's uh, black here, this is uh, open space, so they can go right into that downstairs. I'm going to unpause the game and let it run for a little bit and see where these goblins go. I may have to send the squad out to engage them. I'm going to unlock this door as well. I may have to send the squad out to engage them if it looks like they're going for this stair here. But if they start going onto this structure, I'd rather them I'd rather the goblins come to me than go outside. Let's see. Oh good. They came indoors. So now we can take out half of the squad here. Uh, looks like a couple shots went off. Let me uh, just look at wounds real quick. Okay, so I can't see the goblin wounds in this view. Ill Rowl uh, has some damage here. I don't know if that was from earlier or just now. Just go to the reports quick. Now, I'm not going to re read all the reports, um, but let's look at this goblin hammer man. Aslot. Goblin hammer man strikes the soldier, but the shot is easily parried by the silver warhammer which is good. And the soldier bashes the goblin in the upper left leg with the silver warhammer. He strikes but it but it misses. The shot, shot is blocked. The goblin hammerman smashes the soldier in the left upper arm with his iron warhammer. Soldier scratches the goblin in the head, but the attack is deflected off of the copper helmet. Okay, so it looks like it's they're going back and forth with these um, hammer blows. It looks like the goblin hammerman falls over it at a certain point. So one of the stewards scratches the goblin in the left lower leg, and the attack is deflected. However, the um, force does bend the knee, and the goblin falls over. Uh, okay, so it looks like looks like we're sort of winning. I'm just step it through. One of the goblins has already died, and there is a goblin blood everywhere. There's also some dwarven blood, but it's good that they came inside here because I'm only fighting half of the squad right now. The other half of the squad is up here. Okay, it looks like Reg. Reg died. And, um, squad A, move. B, move. Just moving them back here a little bit. Hopefully they listen. If they, if you tell them to station in an area, and then they see one of the enemies, they'll go engage the enemy, and, and whatever order you tell them from move, uh, will be ignored. Where's he going? 
general. Pick up equipment. Oh, okay. He wants to pick up some of this uh, armor. Okay. Or maybe a warhammer he picked up. Oh, that's good. Okay, so just um, I'll just send the both squads to kill these uh, goblins that are left. B, K, and hopefully they win. Oh, they have an archer. Squad A, move. B, move. So when you tell them to kill um, a specific target, and then that target dies, their orders are... Uh, they go back to their uh, scheduled order. So it looks like I lost two off of the su suicide wave and one off of the um, barbarians. And I'll tell them to go back to their normal orders. Now we got to get this place a little cleaned up, but we can open the main entrance now that the threat is taken care of. Excellent. I set the alert back to half training, and I'm going to set up this room here as a uh, Squad 2's barracks room here. So on the plus and minus key here. So plus and then C I Q T. Okay. Designations B and then claim and Alt M for box select. I'm just going to claim all this stuff here. On this pump here, I'm going to press enter to pump manually. I think they're still moving the cart. Somebody might be moving the cart down there still. Come back to that in a couple minutes. What I need to do is build a wall here. Cancel those constructions. Units. Okay, these ones I'm going to cancel as well. Uh, this one here, I'll, I'll leave that one in place. It's not going to hurt anything there. Okay. Enter to stop pumping manually. I don't want to leave this guy pumping after it's full there. Serral. Builder Serral. So you know what, if a building destroyer comes, they're going to break this pump again. Uh, yeah, so let me... Um, let's see. I don't know how many times I'm going to fill this up, but it might be worth it if instead of uh, filling that, I just branch off of this right here. This track vehicle, here we go. Okay, Fit God's gonna put the track vehicle back. Take a channel right there. At uh, priority one.
Okay, and now build. And then Alt B. Oh. For floor bars. Enter. And then I'm gonna make them out of steel. And what I'll do is I'll lock this door and pump this. Thob here is pretty hurt, and um, I didn't really set up any hospital. Okay, excellent. So he's finished pumping, and then I can unlock this door. H, and go down to magma dump stop one. V for vehicle. Go down to that minecart. Enter. Dig that out a little bit more. Uh, I'll do one more row too. So I'm going to build a hospital here. So I'm expanding it a little bit. What is this? Little door, not bed. There. Build a bed. And I'm gonna put the bed right here. Let's see how I wanna do it. Um, space them out like this. And then I'll build um, Shift R down here for a traction bench. And I already set a workflow in the mechanic shop in an earlier episode to make one to two traction benches. And I'm just going to put one next to each bed and then a table on the other side of the bed. And then H for containers. And I'm just gonna put some containers in. I'll wait till they cut this out. I'll wait till they cut this wall out. And then along this wall, I'll put containers. Okay, build. Bed. Put another one there and here. Shift R for attraction bench. Here and here. Table. Smooth that out. some chests here as well that I put in. Uh, this was an accident earlier. I was deep in the menu where I hit the wrong button maybe. So um, then I for a zone and I'm just going to select that. Next to remove zone that's a little too big. 
and move the um, keyboard selector and H for a hospital. Okay. Great, so we brought the first traction bench in already. And now they should be um, bringing the wounded guy up here in there. Yeah. So Zuglar is uh, carrying Thob to the new hospital. Arab's dressing the wounds. Just gonna just get some cloth there. They're gonna have to move once the containers are in place. They're gonna move some of the cloth and thread into the hospital zone. And you can set you can set the hospital zone even if you don't have beds, even if you're that early in the game where you don't have beds and somebody got hurt and they're just out in the open, like somewhere over here. Um, you can just set a hospital zone somewhere inside the fortress and one of the dwarves will pick them up and bring them in there. I don't think I set... Uh, okay. So P for a stockpile. X to remove. And I'm just going to remove this whole refuse stockpile and remake it. So P, R for refuse. And there to there. Okay. And then X to remove zone and just cut the rest, the excess here. Settings. Uh, I'll turn corpses on as well. Permit. No, E to enable. More migrants. Can't we pass a law? Okay, we got some new migrants as well. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this door and remove the ramps here and the walls here as well as right here and here. And then up on the upper level here, I have some walls that are going to be built. And I, ha I saw that the uh, they completed the scaffolding here, so I added in the corners. And we'll wait for that to be complete. Let me check on some other things. that yet and that's still being built is this him right here store item in stockpile okay okay I'm gonna press J for the jobs list here and see what everybody's doing okay detail wall and floor gather plants webs drink sleep fish and then we got a bunch of storing items the burials. Oh, a lot of wooden stone. If I if I come over here, store item and stockpile, and then come over on this side of the list, uh, stone stockpile, wood stockpile, weapon stockpile. Uh, a lot of wooden stone being moved right now. So what I think I want to do is go to dwarf therapist. So all of the all of the new migrants came in are just doing masonry architecture, construction, deconstruction, and I turned off wood burning for everybody. I set, um, they had a um, cow and a duck with them, the migrants, and I just slaughtered them as well. I'm gonna just add these bolts. Okay. So our drinks are 100. 
starting to get low a little bit. Meat is at 40. This human pikeman, he joined the fortress and yeah, both of these human pikemen Do they have the same name? Oh, there's no. He joined the fortress and all he's doing is drinking. He's getting drunk. Same with these kids. So I want to kind of see if I can eliminate Eguk here. The human pikeman because he's... Uh, Kind of just using resources at this point, not helping the fortress. This human crossbowman too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this door right here. There's a pult in here and uh... Yeah, human pikeman and a, uh, well, yeah, I locked the door and then I'm taking the zone and, uh, removing the zone. Hopefully they'll starve. So, so hopefully the, um, oh good, because this, this is done now. Um, press enter to pump here. Hopefully most of the water goes down the stairs here. But, uh, the fortress is pretty vulnerable right now. I'm going to pull this lever here. Pull this lever to close the caverns. Just in case a builder just a building destroyer comes down in the cavern layer here, um, so I'm going to close this bridge up because um, up top is pretty vulnerable at the moment. Okay, it looks like most of it's going down here. I just want to reflood this space. Um, it's not very efficient with like. Okay, it's fine if water comes down here too. Oh good, this bridge is done now as well. It's not too efficient, but it'll have to do. Okay, so build G. Raising to the south and granite blocks. Okay, the minecart is in transit. I'm gonna go to designations and shift T to carve a track. And I'm just gonna come out like this. After they push this one, I can remove this stuff and build a uh, workshop here. And then replace... I'll build the workshop here, replace this with a southeast track. And then start filling this um, this one up. Okay, build G for a bridge, and this one is going to go right here. Okay, the 
this is almost uh, I just want to get the edges here and this over here as well if I want to expand this tree farm and flood it again then I'm going to uh, okay now I could stop pumping but I'm gonna branch it off of the other enter to stop pumping extra remove the building designations and to remove construction it's normal priority right there and then build construct floor slate is fine So if I want to expand that underground tree farm, then I'm going to have to branch it off of this water here. I'll branch it off of the uh, well reservoir. Or off of this reservoir here. But also, you know what, I got some some mud now on top of this uh, dolomite. So maybe we'll start getting some plants over here as well. And we'll see, it might be worth it to flood more of this uh, stone tile up here. mechanisms anymore what's going on here let's suspend that I, I also want to dig this out here So that's the lower trap. yet either build alt s for slab x memorial to lore enter great Construct shift T for a track and then should be southeast. Put this right here. Make it out of granite. It should be slow enough to make the turn, but just in case, I'm going to build a wall right on the other side of it. track stop there until I know the carts 
being moved down to the uh, magma dump or the walls in place. Okay, so the wall's in place now, so I can extra remove that building. Smooth stone. And once this track stop is out, then um, I can build the workshop right here. So I'm going to just remove these three forges and also this one right here. It says I have five rock mechanisms, but then add a task bridge minus enter. This is steel. Okay, so I'm going to click on the workshop, Alt W, and then Shift S for status. Yeah, I have two different work orders here. Mechanisms of steel and mechanisms of rock. I'm going to remove the steel work order, Shift X, Y, to delete the, yes. Some of the uh, builders are out of work right now, so I'm just going to take a look at the work, work lists. A lot of hauling. I'm gonna take a look at these mason shops. Okay, armor, cabinet. This one's just making blocks. Let me add in a uh, request for weapon racks. Armor stand. Um, coffer. F for cabinet. P. Same with this one. Add in uh, coffin. Table. Throne. in here what's not being made okay just like cable cabinets and coffers okay. 
this craft dwarf is going to be removed. Adjust the range of these drinks. Uh, 200 as a lower limit to 350 as an upper limit. suspending this bridge here because of the Melville's finger. Melville's, Melville's second finger from his left hand has been severed and nobody wants to touch it. It, uh, if I go back to it, there's a task associated with it. And so who, whoever's assigned to that task has to come over and move it. So I'm going to go to designation B and then forbid. And just forbid all the items. And then designations B claim and reclaim them. And so that should have cleared the task. Okay. And now unsuspend the bridge again. So I'm going to make a couple wheelbarrows at the uh, carpenter shop. Two. One to two wheelbarrows. Okay, so this stockpile here, I'm going to go into the settings of this. Barn block and forbid coal. Okay, build. W, V for a magma forge. And I'm going to put this right, right against the wall right here. Yeah, right against the wall right here. Steel anvil and quartz blocks. And now if that's going to be the magma forge, then I'm going to need a barn block stockpile nearby, so I want to dig out some more. OK, 
Okay, something like this. I'll take that eventually. And I'll make steel picks as soon as that's up. Let's see how these guys are doing. W for wounds. Oh, you getting hungry? Igook and his uh, friend here are locked in this room still, and they're starting to get a little hungry. They, um, this keeps getting suspended. So the I, so I went into Dwarf Therapist and just set um, all the new migrants to be stewards. And then I allowed, um, I enabled some of the hauling and um, cleaning for the builders. So wood hauling, stone hauling, um, food and burial hauling. Just some of the um, stewards here. Some I'll have uh, some of them gather plants, and the other one process plants because uh, they're all hanging out here uh, gathering plants. I don't normally do plant gathering. On my fortresses, but um, I'm trying to get some more seeds for wheat because we ran out of seeds, so I had to grow rice on this uh, on this farm here. Single grain wheat we don't have seeds for. Let me go to um, status and then kitchen. And go to the seeds menu, so tab. So they're not cooking with any of them. They are not allowed to cook with rice. They're not allowed to cook with beer. They can cook with rice, but they're not allowed to cook with beer. Meat and fish. Oh, we just have eggs. So, let's see what's going on here. We're out of meat and fish. I need to um, need to get some fishers, fishing boards. Okay, so then some of the um, I'll let the smiths, since I don't think the smiths have much going on, so I'll turn off um, wood hauling and stone hauling for the smiths but I'll allow them to go fishing. Looks like that, uh, they took Mel Bill's finger off the bridge here. Turn the pump on here, he's still pumping. Who is that? 
Skazel was down here pumping for a while. I'm gonna turn on this pump. Okay, my magma forge is now complete. I'm gonna add some tasks here. Weapons and ammunition. Uh, silver warhammer, because we already have a work order for that. Um, also, silver battle axe. You know what? I'm gonna go into. Um, I'm gonna cancel the silver battle axe. I'm gonna go to Alt W. The range of the Warhammer. Uh, range of that's fine, but I'm gonna go to Shift S for the status. And I'm just gonna see about. Battle Axe Silver right here. X to delete it. No. Oh. Shift X. Yes. And then also there was a copper pick. It's gonna be steel. So Shift X. Yes. Pipe section any wood. I can delete that one as well. Yes. Cork. Corkscrew any wood. Shift X. Yes. I can also see like, um, cloth, any yarn, and um, I have 39 of them. And then up here on silk, 227. Uh, plant, cloth, I only have 8 of those. I have 0 cloaks, 16 of them are in use. 0 cheese. Um, so like if you go to a, a piece of clothing here, I don't think I set up too much leather work to be done. Doesn't look like that much at all. I think only it looks like only cloaks. I thought I was making socks and stuff too. Yeah, so if I go to socks here, I currently have 35. That's in the stockpile. And 297 are in use. That's um that means that they're in possession of in, in the possession of the dwarves. Either they're wearing them or in their, they're in the rooms. So add weapon steel, and this is going to be a steel pick. And repeat that. Alt W Shift A. Pick of any steel, and it's going to be. Um, Make two to four. And I'll also make um, steel battle axes. Repeat that. Now I still need to train. Uh, and I'm also going to make a uh, steel shield. Repeat that. There's already a workflow for that. 2 to 12. I want to adjust that range. It's at 6 right now, so... 8 to 12. They still have to be trained, so um, I don't think the quality of picks makes a difference when they're mining. At a certain point, I'm going to have to, once I get the um, magma furnace set up here, or wherever I put it, whichever one of these places I put the magma furnace, I'm still I'm going to have to reset up the um, 
melt stockpiles in this area here close to the um, magma furnaces and magma forge. So they don't have to walk this far, so it's a little more efficient than right now. Coal, I'm going to turn down to um, 45 to uh, 25 to 50. Because uh, they're turning all my wood into coal. is complete so I'll link this lever to it add B for bridge okay okay so now that one lever is going to close this bridge here and it's also going to close these three bridges and that gives them a little bit faster in and out with the um, wood hauling and I'm just going to see if I can get the trees over close to this uh, structure and I'll try not to get more of the further trees I'll try not to get designations B and then forbid I'm just going to forbid the lumber that's out here the edge of the map so I don't want to work walking that far that's fine Um, channel off this piece right here. Let's channel off this piece of the mountain. Coming up to do it now. I set it as priority one. Okay, dig um, J for a downstair. I'm just going to put that right there. And then also the Z to remove upstairs and ramps. And I'm just going to get this whole area right here. And some of this down one level. I'm thinking that I, I might build an archery tower right here that just comes up a little bit just a couple levels and um, so we could shoot over on this side if the undead come back so I'm just gonna build a just gonna build a retract bridge right over top of this uh, stair right here I won't start building the tower to build 
construct wall. I won't uh, really start building the tower until that's in place. I'm just gonna build a. Let's build this corner right here, just so I don't forget about it for later. This space, yeah, it's only four or five high, not too high, just so that way they could see over the top here and uh, kind of get an area up here. And then if anything's on the side over here and uh, over here. Shouldn't be dangerous. I got some traders here. Caravan. Uh, yeah, so these boulders are uh, impeding the path of the caravan. So I'm just going to follow the caravan and see where it goes. I might have to build a road or smooth the boulders down. So it came around, it doesn't... The caravan doesn't like this area here. Um, smooth stone, and then I'll smooth this area here. Turn to a normal priority. Uh, actually, I'll turn to priority 7. So that way it won't get done unless... Uh, else is really happening. Okay. Okay, so I have a wood furnace, an ashery, and a soap maker's workshop. In the wood furnace, I'm going to add a task to make ash. Repeat that. A workflow of bars of ash. Yeah, 5 to 10. Doesn't have to be too high. Um, In the ashery here, I will add a task to make lye.
Alt W for workflow. Uh, yes, to repeat that. So live 10 to 20. And then over here at the, I'm gonna get some tallow first. Excellent. The um, one of our adventurers had uh, dehydrated to death in this uh, locked room, and we now the traders are starting to get set up. Thank you very much for watching.